Devar Malchus, Parshas Breshis, Blessing the Month, Mar Cheshvan, page one. Today's class is dedicated for the Rafur Shlema of Ariel David ben Simcha. May it be speedily and immediately. Okay, page one. It is known that the saying of the Rebbe's of our leaders, that the Shabbos Breshis affects the whole year. As we make Shabbos Breshis go, that's how the whole year will go. What a unique! What is unique about Shabbos Bereishit that specifically it is drawn from the entire year? Seemingly, this is the content of the whole month of Tishrei. Tishrei, the letters of Bereishit, is the beginning of the whole year. As known that the holiday of the month of Tishrei, which has many holidays or general holidays, from which it is drawn over the entire year, beginning with Rosh Hashanah, which is called by the name Rosh Hashanah, being that it is the head which includes in it and conducts all the days of the year, and similar Yom Kippur, which is also called Rosh Hashanah in the verse, and similar to the holiday of Sukkot, the holiday of our joy, including Shemina Hetzeret and Simchas Torah. So why do we highlight Shabbos Bereshit in saying that we make Shabbos Bereshit go, that's how the whole year will go. The point of the explanation of this is simple. Shabbos Bereshit acts as a transition from the month of Trishrei, that is a full of holidays, into a regular routine daily life in the rest of the month of the year. Shabbos Reishis is the conclusion and final of the month of Tishrei, being the last Shabbos of the month, which there is an ascent and completeness, and he completed of the culmination of the holidays of the month of Tishrei, Shemina HaTzeret, and Simchas Torah, which gathered together at Zeret, an idiom for absorbing and the internalization, internalizing of all the holiday month of Tishrei, and also the beginning of the regular service of the coming year, being Shabbos, in which we bless the month of Mar Cheshvan, the first mundane month of the new year, which does not have any holidays in it, which begins as known, the main service of, and Yaakov went on his way, on his way specifically in matters of the world, and the weekday work, each person under his vine, under his fig tree, and be being that the Shabbos Breshis included in both aspects, that the last Shabbos in the month of Tishrei, which blesses the first mundane month of the year, therefore it gives a special power for the conduct of the whole year, the holidays in it, the month of Tishrei itself, being that it is on the level of Breshis, it transcends, separates, and exalted beyond the other months of the year. It is full with mitzvahs and holiness in the wording of the midras, satiated with everything, great threshings in it, blessing in it, forgiveness in it, and automatically we are not so guaranteed that we will be able to continue the lofty state of the month of Tishrei, also in a simple weekday of the year, whereas Shabbos Bereshis, being both the final of the month of Tishrei, as well as the beginning of the mundane year, being with Shabbos that blesses the month of Cheshvan, Bereshis is an idiom of being and Rosh had, and Rosh had the beginning and the head of the year. In addition to the fact, Bereshis is also the first parshas of the Torah, the beginning of the reading of the parshas of the year, Torah, which we read in the shul, with which we must live throughout the whole year. Indeed, it is an intermediary that connects between them, which gives the special power that befitting the way we go about them will go the entire year that we should continue the lofty state in the month of Tishrei, in the daily service in the world, in the weekdays, and in the mundane work. As also understood from the content of the Parshas Breshis, for which the Shabbos is called Shabbos Breshis, which speaks about the work of creation through the reading of the Torah and the verse Breshis, in the beginning Hashem created the heaven and the earth, is renewed and the creation of all the matters of the world for which the new year, since Hashem looked into the Torah and created the world, man looks into the Torah and causes the world to endure, which this gives the power to correctly set the service in the matter of the world through the coming year. And the explanation of this will soon be understood clearly according to the words of our sages regarding the accurate wording Bereshis, Mekadem, Bar El Kim, it does not say he nor Mechilah, rather Bereshis. For the Torah, which is called Bereshis, beginning of his ways, for the Jewish people, which are called the Bereshis of his wheat, since the exposition of our sages is on the word Bereshis, which is the simple meaning of the verse. It is referring to the beginning of creation of the heaven and the earth with all the details of creation as is spoken 
in the continuation of the verse, it makes sense to say, and especially according to what is known, the two explanations in the one word have a connection to each other as we see that this is an exposition of, uh, of shotness. Sh Sha'ul, Sha'ul and Tavi spun, venus and woven, that the exposition is not the leading and simple meaning Bereshis, that this refers to the beginning of creation, rather it comes to add the exposition that this refers to the Torah and the Jewish people, which are called Bereshis. Based on this, we need to have an explanation of the connection between the explanation of the sages and the simple meaning. Simply, they are actually truly opposite meaning according to the exposition of the sages. Bereshis does not refer to the creation of the world, refer, rather it refers to the Torah and the Jewish people. For the Torah and for the Jewish people, which preceded the creation and are incomparably higher than the creation. The question is intensified in the light of the commentary of Rashi on the verse which mentions both explanation, and this is his words, the verse Bereshis bara is begging explanation. As the sages say, for the Torah and for the Jewish people. And after this, Rashi continues, and if you want to explain the simple meaning, this is how you should explain it. In the beginning of creation of the heaven and the earth was chaos and desolate and darkness. And, and then transpired, and Hashem said there should be light, for there is no beginning in the Torah which is not connected to the word following it. It is not understood since Bereshis bara in the simple meaning of the verse refers to the creation of the heaven and the earth, and Rashi himself says in the second explanation that Bereshis is referring to the creation is the simple meaning, whereas the first explanation is deemed an exposition. Why does Rashi bring the exposition in the first place? When the point of Rashi's commentary in the simple meaning of the verse, that Bereshis is actually referring to the intention of the creation of Torah and the Jewish people, which preceded and are incomparably higher than the creation. Even if Rashi, for some reason, needs to mention the exposition, at least he could, at least he should have first written the simple meaning. Furthermore, regarding the general opening of the Torah, within the beginning he created, Rashi explains in the previous commentary that the Torah did not need to begin only with this month is for you, which is the first mitzvah that the Jewish people were commanded, and what is the reason it begins with Bereshis, from which it is understood that the beginning of the Torah is not regarding the Torah, the mitzvahs, and the Jewish people, rather regarding the creation itself, the power of his action, he relates to his nation. And nevertheless, Rashi explains after this that Bereshis refers not to the creation, rather to Torah and the Jewish people. And may we say that the explanation of this, from the words of our sages, that Bereshis means the intention and purpose of the whole creation for the Torah, which is called Reishis, for the Jewish people who are called Reishis, it is understood that the fact that the Torah and the Jewish people are Reishis, through, through the Jewish people preceded everything. It is not speaking about only as they are completely higher than the creation, for it is it would not be correct to say that they are Reishis, beginning of the creation, and the creation was created for them, rather which it which this shows a connection between them rather mainly as is reflected also in this world that they are a part of the creation they are reishis the beginning of the creation which for them the world was created as understood from the wording reishis itself reishis as in the first of his crop which refers to the jewish people denotes that the reishis is the first place not separate from the rest of the wheat rather it is together as one with the whole crop and then it is chosen as the first of his crop. We will understand that this, in this, we will understand this is light of the explanation in Tanya and the wording of the prayer. And you have chosen us from all the nations and languages. The Altar Rebbe explains in Tanya that you have chosen us from the, all the nations and languages is a material body, which is similar in its materialistic sense to the bodies of the nations of the world, since choosing is only possible to say specifically from things that are the same as one another from the perspective of a point of interest regarding things that do not have a common point, no common qualities upon them. They are found in two different places or levels. It cannot be subject to choice since it depends what the person wants and where the person is found and one way or another, either 
the one choosing and his will are found in one place and the first thing or found in the place of the second thing. And the fact that he chooses one of them and not the other is not for any reason, only because it is what he chooses. If he picks one because of a reason, because of the virtue it has, it is also, it is also not a true choice. Free choice since the reason causes a lean from which, which forces him to choose this thing, true choice, free choice, is when there is no reason and no lean, merely he chooses it because this is what he wants. Therefore, true choice is only possible in the reference of the body, which is similar in its materialistic senses to the bodies of the nations of the world when the matter discusses. In the soul of a Jew, it is not possible to say, and you chose us since the Jewish soul, which is a portion of Hashem above, literally has no comparison to the nations of the world, truly different indeed choice is not possible regarding this. Similar, more in general, when the matter discusses, is discussed is the Jewish people as they stand higher than all the matters of the world and the nations of the world. It is also not possible for there to be a choice regarding it, specifically in the body of a Jew, which is found below among the nations and seems similar to the bodies of the nations of the world. It is possible to have the phenomenon and you chose us, you, Hashem, your God, has chosen to be for him a treasured nation from all the nations. Specifically, you chose specifically from all the nations. Furthermore, the precise wording of the Tanya is the material body that is similar in its materialistic sense to the bodies and nations of the world and not the physical body that is similar in physicality. Since also the physical body of a Jew is different also in its physical than the bodies of the nation of the world due to the refinement of the body, blood and flesh, flesh, which is accomplished through eating, drinking, kosher, which becomes part of one's blood and flesh, etc. Automatically regarding it, it is not possible for there to be truer choice, since in this a Jew is different than a non-Jew. Specifically, the material body that is similar in materialistic sense to the bodies of the nation and the world, material is the lowest level, as simple that the material part of the world is from the element of the earth, the lowest of the element of creations and everyone steps on it which transfers it is similar in a materialistic sense to the bodies of the nations of the world indeed regarding its necessity and there was and you chose us from all the nations and languages the choice of Hashem that is above reason and understanding of the material body of the Jewish people and therefore it is not possible that the stars and constellations ministering angels of the nations of the world should ask a question about this. Aren't the nations of the world also the creations of Hashem, like the Jewish people, and need to get their food from Hashem, just like all the creations, including the Jewish people, to the point that the opposing side claim at the splitting of the Red Sea that these are idol worshippers, and these are idol worshippers. So why are the Jewish people different? Since you chose us from all the nations and languages, which choice is specific where there is similarity between two things, and he chooses one of them with no reason at all. From this it's understood that the fact that the Jewish people are first of the creation is not only regarding the soul, which is separate from the world, rather also regarding the body, and on the contrary, in the material body of a Jew, in which he is the same as the nations of the world, which is similar in the materialistic sense, to the bodies of the nations of the world, there is an advantage in comparison to the virtue of the Jewish people have by themselves due to their soul or due to their qualities and their refined physical body, etc. Since specifically in it is revealed the choice of Hashem, which true choice is in the essence of Hashem, who has no cause before him, heaven forbid. And when we say that just as this is regarding the Jewish people, similarly in a small form, this is also regarding the Torah and also first, that the completeness of the Torah is specifically as it is given below, such as the Torah is not in the heaven, and the ruling in the Jewish law are decided specifically by the physical intellect of the Jewish people to the extent that the, Jew, that the Torah traveled and descends until it, vested, uh, until it vested in physical objects and matters of this world, which are practicality and the, which are practically all the mitzvahs of the Torah and their laws and combination of physical letters with ink on a safer. And as a Torah finds itself below, its essential quality is revealed, and in the wording of the hymn, its merchandise is better than all merchandise, 
that also as Torah is the world of business, we see how its merchandise is better than all merchandise, and that the Torah study is prohibited for the nations of the world, similar to what we spoke earlier regarding the material body of a Jew. However, with the essential difference between Torah and the Jewish people, and even as it descends below, it remains to its holiness, whereas the body of a Jew is in a created essence, physically and materially, on the other hand, you chose us. The choice of the essence of Hashem is specific in the physical body of a Jew, which the thought of the Jewish people preceded even the Torah. Therefore, the Torah is not a condition in the choice of the essence of Hashem in the body. Therefore, Torah is not a condition in the choice of the essence of Hashem in the body. Based on this, it is understood that the innovation of the explanation of our sages for Rashis, for the Torah that is called Rashis, for the Jewish people are called Rashis. The main innovation in this is not as the Torah and the Jewish people are Rashis, in essence, on their own, completely higher than the creation, rather also that they are found in the creation, including in the material body of the Jews, is revealed how they are the beginning of the entire creation, that from them the world is created. And this is reconciling of the two seemingly opposite meaning for Ashis in the beginning of creation and the Torah of the Jewish people who are called beginnings and are above the creation, that the aspect of the Torah and the Jewish people beginning above the creation, Rashis, become part of the creation itself, since Torah and the Jewish people become part of the creation in the beginning of Hashem's in the in in the beginning Hashem created the heaven and the earth in a simple meaning to the extent that the material body of the Jewish people is similar to the materialistic sense to the body of the nations of the world. And had there not been a phenomenon of choice, there is no difference between them. And at this level itself, in the creation is revealed and recognized in the whole world. They are at the beginning of the world as the exposition, explanation. And therefore Rashi, Rashi preceded and the explanation demands an exposition for the Torah and for the Jewish people, since not only is this not a contradiction to the existence of the world, the simple meaning of in the beginning he created, rather on the contrary, this is the content of the completeness of the world itself, and this reveals the inner intention of the existence of the world, that the whole creation of the heaven and the earth is in the order to bring out the virtue of choice of the Jewish people and the Torah to the extent that in the world it should be evident and obvious the virtue of the Torah and the Jewish people are at the beginning of the comparison to all other parts of creation. And may we connect this also with the concluding words of Parshas Breshis, their beginning is wedged in their end, and their end is wedged in the beginning, and Noah found favor in the eyes of Hashem. Finding favor in the eyes of Hashem is above the entire concept of reason, etc., similar to the phenomena of choice, and based on what is known, that the remembering of Noah and also Noah with love you remembered in the verses Zikronius on Rosh Hashanah and is from the perspective of the essential value of the souls of the Jewish people above reason and understanding. May we say, or we may say, that this is connected to the beginning of the Parshas Breshis for the Jewish people who are called Breshis, and this is revealed in a way in the world that due to the fact that Noah found favor in the eyes of Hashem, Hashem saved him from the great flood, to the extent that this also brought these are the children of Noah, Noah, Naachaya, tranquility from the upper realms and tranquility from the lower realms, and also in the lowest realm, the physicality and material world, there was tranquility. With this, we can also understand the connection of the first explanation of Rasi's Bereshis. The Torah did not need to begin from this month will be for you. And what is the reason that he began with Bereshis? Because the power of his actions, he told his nation, in order to give them the land of nations, they had to tell the whole land belongs to Hashem. He created it and he gave it to who he is pleased in his eyes. He decided to give it to them, and then he decided to take it from them, and he gave it to us. The innovation of this, not that the Torah and the Jewish people are above the world, as this is emphasized in the mitzvahs of the Torah, beginning with this month is for you, which was specifically given to the Jewish people. Rather, even as the Jewish people are found in the physical and material world together with the nations of the world, which Hashem created, every one the same in the materialistic sense, the whole world belongs to Hashem equally, and there is room for a challenge 
you are thieves, for you conquered the land of the seven nations, being that the land of the nations, which Hashem desired to give to them, becomes relevant that they that you choose from us all the nations. And the power of his actions, he told his nation to give them the land of the nations. For just as Hashem chose the Jewish people, he also chose, he decided to take it from them and give it to us, to give them Eretz Yisrael, the, land, the chosen land from all the lands of, to his chosen nation. And to add with through the fact that he gave it to us willingly and with his choice, the physical Eretz Yisrael is an evident is evident clearly in the physical and material world and the choice of Hashem of the Jewish nation also as they are in the materialism of the world. And may we connect this also with the continuation of the Parshas. After Parshas Parashis and Parshas Noach, we then have Parshas Lachacha, where it speaks about how Hashem tells Avraham, go for yourself out of your land, your birthplace, out of your father's house to the land, and I will show you. Even though Avram is found in the physicality and materialism world, your land, your birthdays, and your father's house, he must leave them and go away and separate himself from there and go to a land that I will show you. And Hashem, after this, gives him Eretz Yisrael, the land of the seven nations, the Kanini, Kanizi, and Kanamani. And it is, and as an eternal inheritance for the Jewish people, and through this transpires, I will show you also in the deeper meaning, I will show you and reveal you yourself that through this he had an incomparable advantage, advance going. Hashem revealed through the choice of the Jewish people the true existence of Avraham and every Jew, whoever and wherever he is. Based on the above, it is understood that the virtue of Shabbos Parashis, when we read in the Torah the whole Parshas of Parashis, that when we that we that the way we act, then so we will will it go. We may say that these two virtues in the Jewish people mentioned above, as they are from the perspective of their souls above the world and their virtue in the world from the perspective of you chose us, are expressed in general in the time of each year in the difference between the month of Tishrei and the other months of the year. In the month of Tishrei, full of holidays, it is clearly manifested mainly how the Jewish people are above the conduct of the world especially in Shemina Hetzeret and Simchas Torah, the culmination of the holidays, when there is a state of, it will be for you alone, and there will be no foreigner with, with you, me and the king alone. And we will see how the Jewish people rejoice for the Torah, standing above everything, and in the other months of the year is mainly the service of the world. And the Shabbos Bereshis, the end of Tishrei, and the beginning of the Shabbos, and the beginning of the month of the year, beginning with Shabbos, when we bless the month of Cheshvan, we may we have both aspects, the virtue of Torah and the Jewish people as they are first in essence above the world, as and as they are first of the world, and therefore we get then the power that before we leave the month of Tishrei to do the service of the world, each person in his individual mission in his daily life. We read in the Torah in the beginning of Hashem created the heaven and the earth, that Breshit means that for the Torah, that this is called first, for the Jewish people that are called first, which gives them the power that one acts on Shabbos Breshis, so will, so will it go the whole year, that also in the service of the weekday activities, in the physicality and materials in the world, there should be evident the virtue of the Jewish people as a chosen people, you chose us from all the nations. Based on the above, that the virtue of the Jewish people as the chosen people comes out in the revealed way. Also, moreover, specifically being in this physical and material world, we have a practical conclusion, which is fundamental matter in, in the way a Jew must do his service in exile, being that everything, the whole world, is created for Jewish people, and that this is manifested in the physical and material world in that you have chosen us, the material body of a Jew, which is similar in its physicality and materialism to the bodies of the nations of the world. It is understood that in every state, in every time, in every place, even in the most materialistic state, even in the time of exile, the Jewish people are on the level of first, higher than all matters, and on the contrary, for them everything was created, being that the chosen nation, which Hashem chose, which is the choice, it is not possible for there to be any changes. If the entire virtue of the Jew as beginning would constitute 
of only the virtue of the soul and the virtue of his makeup of his soul and body in comparison to the nations of the world, there would be then room to say that this is the only state and on a condition which his soul is shining openly, however not in a state of concealment over the revelation of the soul as in time of exile. However, since you have chosen us from all the nations and languages in a material body, which is similar in its materialistic sense to the bodies of the nation of the world, and he chose is present always. From this it is understood that even when the Jewish people are found in exile under the dominion of the kingdoms, due to our sins we were exiled from our land, nevertheless the physical and material body of a Jew is on the first on the level of first due to the choice of Hashem in the body, and therefore it's understood that not only the Jews are then not under the dictation of the nations of the world, however forbid, not only from the perspective of their souls, rather also from the perspective of their bodies. Rather, on the contrary, they are also in the time of exile, first of the whole creation, for of them the other nations of the world were created, as well as the other parts of the world, to the degree that the greatness of the nations of the world is actually dependent on the Jewish people, as it says that in every generation and in every time, the nation and the Jewish people are under them in exile, becomes greater than all the nations. And although in the time of exile, the Jewish people are subjected to the empires and we have, and the command of the law of the country is the law and they cannot rebel against the nations, do not aggravate the Gentiles and the like. The reason for this is not because the Jewish people have a fear of the nations of the world in the time of exile, heaven forbid, since on the contrary, Jews are on the level of first, which for them, the nations of the world were created. Only the meaning in this is similar to the command, do not distress Moab, and do not enrage them, and do not wage war against them, and similar regarding Ammon, that this is not as if, as if good advice, since the Jewish people need to have fear due to their strength, and we need them, rather as the verse says explicitly, the reason I will not give to you from this land an inheritance, for I gave our to the children of Lot as an inheritance, namely, that so did Hashem set it up, just as Eretz Yisrael he gave to us. He gave to it to us. He decided to give it to us. Similarly, he decided to give to them the lands of Ammon and Moab, and not to the Jewish people, and therefore do not wage war against them. And similarly, regarding do not enrage the nations, and the law of the country is the law and the like, that this is not because of fear, heaven forbid, rather because Hashem set up and dictated that it has to be in order in the time of exile. However, it is a self-understood, and this does not affect whoever so. He, this does not affect whatsoever the fact that the Jewish people are also in a time of exile, the chosen nation first, and the whole world, and the nations of the world. Namely, that in addition to the fact that the law of the country is the law, is only regarding certain physical matters, like money matters, taxes, and dues, and the like. However, not regarding matters of Torah and mitzvahs, about which we have clear instruction in the Torah, and in the words of my revered father-in-law, the Rebbe, our souls were not sent into exile, and we were not given over to the subjugation of the nations. Indeed, also regarding the bodies and physicality and materialism of a Jew, he remains also always first and above the nations of the world. And the fact that the law of the country is the law is not because he is under the subjugation and rule of the nations of the world, rather that so Hashem sets up the order in exile due to our sins. From this we are also understood regarding the kindness which we receive through the pious of the nation of the world in the time of exile, which therefore we have to thank them to the extent that you shall seek the peace of the city, since with it its peace you will have peace that this is not because the Jewish people need their kindness, however forbid, for on the contrary, kindness for the nation is a sin. And when we get kindness from them, which help the Jewish people in Torah and mitzvahs, this is not kindness of the nation, rather kindness of Hashem, which he draws to the Jewish people through the nations of the world, since so desire Hashem that the order be in a present time as a result is not a sin, however forbid. And so, and to add, that the above mentioned content of the Shabbos prayer sheets is even more emphasized and clear in this year, 5752, which the Jewish people made note that the acronym is, it will be for the year of wonders in it and wonders in everything. Nifalos, wonders, non palos, 50 wonders, expresses the completeness in the revelation of the land of Pele, wonder, which 
even one wonders is above beyond all other matters and most certainly 50 wonders and to add 50 in a connection with jubilee 50 years which is called olam forever eternity and it will be in the year of wonders in it hints to the fact that in addition to i will show them wonders in the past which certainly this itself there is an ascent ascent in matters of holiness this year there is a there is added this year that this year will be a matter of will be and a matter of Bahayava Tesh Teha Tehe Bahayava Tehe. It shall be in a sent way. Wonders in it. The wonders will be not only detail in the year, rather the content of the year and the wonders in everything in all matters. And may we say that the revelation of the wonders in it, wonders that are completely above, beyond, expresses itself also in the revelation of the choice of the Jewish people, which choice is the ideal wonder beyond all manners as explained above. And as we have already seen clearly, the wonders in the beginning of this year and the continuation to the wonders of the past year, especially in connection with the fact that the country, Russia, is giving permission to the Jews to leave and is helping thousands upon thousands to ascend to Eretz Yisrael and other places where they can live in full freedom in their personal life, the revelation in the virtue of the Jewish people as in a manner that also the nation of the world recognize this and assist and by way of preference that the revelation of the recognizing in the world of the nations of the world of the virtue of the Jewish people is getting stronger from generation to generation as we come nearer and nearer to the true and complete redemption will be fulfilled and the nations will go about go by your light and kings will be your caretakers and their mistresses your nurses as and as a preparation for this throughout the generations also in the time of exile we find that even the nations of the world recognize that the Jewish people are the chosen nation as seen in the several Madrashim of our sages for example the Gomorrah in Zavachim that a king of the nations of the world helped a Jew to be dressed for honor and glory I will fulfill in you the kings will be your caretakers and more and it is also known that the nations of the world call the Jews in their language also when they speak among each other the chosen nation and in this was added even more in the recent generations especially in the country of the United States and other countries which is a kind of kind which is a country of kindness which allows Jewish people to do their service with peace of soul and tranquility of the body and even assist in, in this and assist the Jewish people in Eretz Israel. And in this itself, even more was added in the recent years and especially in the past years. And the year I will show them wonders in the beginning of this year, the year wonders in it regarding permitted to leave and assistance of that country in the ascent of our brethren and Jewish people to Eretz Israel as mentioned above. And may we say that the path for all this was that was paved through the accomplishment of the Jewish greats throughout the generalization with the nations of the world, and especially the Rebbe's of our leader being with the Alter Rebbe, who interceded regarding the matter of the world as known his efforts in the victory of Alexander of or Napoleon <coughs> for the good of the Jewish people, for their spiritual benefit. And may we say that now it's manifest the good for the Jewish people of that country also physically through assistance of that country that the Jewish people should leave there as mentioned above. And may it be the will of Hashem that in this there should be even more and more in a matter of continually add in light until it will be nullified all the limitations in the providing of kindness to the Jewish people and in recognizing the virtue of the Jewish people and in their ownership of Eretz Yisrael, which every Jew also in the present time has a portion in Eretz Yisrael, befitting the words of Rashi in the beginning of our Parsha, the power of his actions, he told his nation to give them the portion of the land to the nations, that if the nations of the world would say to the Jewish people, you are thieves since you conquered the land of the seven nations, they say to them, the whole land begins, belongs to Hashem. He created it and he gave it to the one he sees fit. By his will, he gave it to them, and he and by his will, he took it from them and gave it to us. And they, and as they have in these days literally announced at a gathering of the nations of the world, the heirs Israel, and especially Hebron, belong to the Jewish people, as it says in the Torah with the language in the Bible, which even they consider it to be a holy book. From all the above, and understood simply how much is it completely out of the question 
the announcement that was announced recently that the Jewish people in Israel have to give in to pressure of the nations of the world in connection with the Eretz Israel due to do not enrage the nations since they, the Jewish people, are found under the dominion of the nations of the world and are dependent on their kindness to the extent, moreover, that the saving and existence of the Jews in Eretz Israel is, was, dependent on the nations of the world, heaven forbid, truly impossible. First, heaven forbid, to say that the continuation of the Jewish people is in doubt, heaven forbid, truly impossible. The Jewish nation is eternal since they are Hashem's nation, and Hashem is eternal. As the verse said, I, Hashem, have never changed, and you, the Jewish people, I have not wiped out. The more and more. Secondly, every Jew knows simply that the beginning and opening statement of the entire Torah is Breshis, and Rashi explained this for the Torah, which is called Breshis, and for the Jewish people that are called Breshis. It is understood literally simply, and that not the nations of the world are the manager of the Jewish people, heaven forbid, and being that the beginning and opening statement of the entire Torah, both the written Torah as well as the oral Torah, the explanation of the written Torah, which was given together with the written Torah, which this includes all that is a veteran student is destined to innovate, the Torah that is being learned and enhanced by the Jewish people throughout all the generations, is it, it is understood that Bereshis for the Torah is called Bereshis for the Jewish people who are called Bereshis is a foundation of the entire Torah, as understood simply and a fortui, for most and most certainly this is the case since every detail in the Torah, also order in Torah, is at the height of precision and most certainly that this is so regarding Bereshis, the beginning of the whole Torah which the beginning of every matter, even the speech of the people, is with the most precision, most certainly Torah. And notwithstanding this, a Jew stands up to announce in public in front of many tens of thousands, tens of thousands, many tens of Jewish people who came to hear a Torah speech that the continuation of the Jews is dependent on the nations of the world. The wonder in, his, in this is even stronger coming from the holidays in the month of Tishrei, when Jews said in their prayers, you have chosen us from all the nations. To the degree this is so simple, and that one would have ever thought that his need to be clarified, and especially to a Jew, even the nations of the world recognize the fact that Jews are the chosen people, and throughout the generation, this was the simple truth. To the extent that, even in the generation where there were concealments, as in the time of the Enlightenment movement and the like, the rabbi was smeet with A rabbi with smicha would not stand up and announce such a thing. The challenge of us to not enrage nations, the kindness that we receive from the nations of the world, have nothing to do with this, since it's self-evident that do not enrage the nations does not bring change all, heaven forbid, to brachies for the Jewish people you have chosen us as spoken above. Furthermore, and mainly, it is simply understood that when speaking of the Torah and mitzvahs, it is not possible to say regarding a do not enrage, and most certainly in our case, when the matter discussed is life-threatening through returning part of the land, as ruling in Shulchan Aruch, as spoken many times, the non-Jews that invaded Jewish cities, if they came to murder, and even if they did not yet come to murder, and only on their way with a weapon and to desecrate the Shabbos, regard a city that is on the boundaries, even if they are only attempting to take them, straw, we desecrate, we desecrate the Shabbos to fight them, Least they conquer the city from there and will be easy for them to conquer the land. Hashem. And may it be the will of Hashem that we track from his world. Even King David said, Who can avoid mistakes? And most certainly that he was he will greaten the mistake through the explanation and excuses opposite of the truth. And in any case it will not help, rather make it only worse since truth flourishes. Furthermore, and mainly that we should not need in general to speak and negate such matters, and from now on only speak about the praise and virtue of every Jewish people, and especially through them adding in Torah study and fulfillment of mitzvahs, including especially in the daily studies of Chitas, acronym from Chumas, Tehillim, Tanya. It's customary to mention at the time when we begin the story of Torah from the beginning of the Simcha Torah. And most and mainly, there should be an added in the recognition of the whole world, including of the nations of the world, of the virtue of the praise of the Jewish people, praise for the Jewish people, and that Eretz Yisrael belongs to the Jews, including the completeness of the manifestation of this in the true and complete redemption, as we will have 
in addition to the seven lands, also the Kanani, Kanizi, and Kanmani. And literally, immediately on Shabbos Breshis, of it shall be a year of wonders in it, and the revelation of the wonders of Hashem, including the main wonders, just as the days of you left Egypt, I will show them wonders in the true and complete redemption through Mashiach. And we go immediately through, these are the progeny of Noah, Noah, Nahaya, tranquility for the upper realms and Nahaya for the lower realms, and afterward go for yourself from your land, from your birthdays, and from your father's house to a land that I will show you, that the Jewish and that all the Jewish people, also those that are found presently outside Eretz Yisrael, including the fathers of Chabad Hasidic movement, the Alter Rebbe, the Mitha Rebbe, the Son of Hasidic, who are found in your land from your birthdays and your father's house, Hadich, Nazan, Nizan, Lubavitch, and all the Rebbe's, our leaders, and the Tzadikim and Jews throughout all generations, go to the Holy Land, into Yerushalayim, into the Holy City, to the Holy Mountains, in the third base of Mingdash, in the Holy Holies, literally, immediately.